Plaxon's Megan comment awful but host will remain says ITV boss. Hi everyone welcome to AR news. Comments made by Jeremy Claxon about the Duchess of Sussex in a column for the Sun have been described as awful by ITV's media and entertainment boss. Kevin Ligo said there were no plans at the moment to replace him as host of game show who wants to be a millionaire. He said Mr. Claxon comments did not represent ITV's values. More than 20,000 complaints have been made to press regulator after Claxon wrote on Friday that he hated Megan on cellular level. The column has now been removed from the Sun's website at Claxon's request and replaced with a tweet in which he says he is horrified after causing so much hurt. In his message to followers posted on Monday, he described a reference he made to a scene in Game of Thrones as clumsy. Claxon horrified Megan Column caused her speaking at a broadcasting press guilt event in London on Tuesday. Mr. Ligo said he had no control over what Mr. Claxon wrote in his newspaper columns. We hire him as a consummate broadcaster for the most famous quiz on television who wants to be a millionaire, he said. So it's not quite in our wheelhouse but I don't know what he was thinking when he wrote that. It was awful. Conservative MP Caroline Nokis has written to Sun editor Victoria Newton calling for action to be taken against Mr. Claxon and for an unreserved apology to be issued by the Duchess. The letters have been signed by more than 60 MPs, SNP MP John Nicholson, who sits on the Digital Culture, Media and Sport Community, has written to Chief Executive of ITV, Dane Caroline Mac Call, asking for Mr. Claxon to be removed as a host of the quiz show. Mr. Nicholson said he has also written to Amazon, which broadcast Claxon's farm and the Grand Tour, where the representatives appears alongside James May and Richard Hammond. In a call to Sheila and Forty, Monday's show on LBC, the mother of late television representer Caroline Flack condemned the comments, responding to Mr. Clarkson, saying he would like to see the Duchess humiliated. Christine Flack said it had upset her so much that Jeremy Clarkson was not only allowed to think that but to put it in print. Caroline Flack's death in February 2020 was ruled a suicide by the coroner. An inquest in August 2020 heard from Roma was played out in the national press and that was incredibly distressing for her, writing in his original column, Clark Hunt said. At night, I'm unable to sleep as I lie there grinding my teeth and dreaming of a day when Megan is made a parade naked to the street for every town in Britain while the crowds chant shame and throw lumps of excrement at her. Everyone who's my age thinks the same way, he added. But what makes me despair is that younger people, especially girls, think she's pretty cool. They think she was a prisoner of Buckingham Palace, forced to talk about nothing but embroidery and kittens. His column followed the release of the last three episodes of Netflix docuracy Harry and Meghan on Thursday. Jeremy Claxon says he was horrified over Meghan's column broadcaster. Jeremy Claxon said he is horrified after causing so much hurt. In column, he wrote in the Sun about the Duchess of Sussex. More than 12,000 complaints have been made to the press regulator after Claxon wrote on Friday that he hated Megan on the cellular level. In a tweet on Monday, he said, Oh dear, I have rather put my food in it. The column now has been removed from the Sun website at Claxon request and replaced with his tweet. In his message to followers posted on Monday, described a reference he made to a scene in a Game of Thrones as clumsy. I'm horrified to have caused so much hurt and I shall be more careful in future, he said. In a column, I wrote about Megan and made a clumsy reference to the scene in the Game of Thrones and he, this has gone down badly with a great many people. If so, the independent press standards organization told the complaints were being assessed in accordance with its standards procedure. Nearly 21,000 complaints have been made to IPSO so far, making it the organization most complained about article. The Sun told the news on Monday it did not have anything further to add. IPSO replaced the Press Complaints Commission in 2014, the PCC's most complained about article, won by J. 
Jan Moyer about the death of boy zone singer Stephen Gately, published in Daily Mail in 2009. It attracted more than 25,000 complaints, but they were rejected. Flaxen's comments were widely criticized on social media over the weekend. On Sunday, Flaxen's own daughter Emily said, I want to make it very clear that I stand against everything my dad wrote about Meghan Markle. On Sunday, Claxon's own daughter Emily said, I want to make it very clear that I stand against everything my dad wrote about Meghan Markle. Writing in his original column, Claxon said, Thank you.